Have the patience, do the best you can. I know sometimes patience finally runs out, but until then, do the best you can. Next, you gotta have faith to believe, faith in yourself, faith in the process, faith in the plan, faith in the products. With what we've heard now about products these last few days, and especially today, you can have faith that Herbalife's gonna continue to have the best products available that science can possibly produce. Here's what's next. Learn to make wise decisions. Wise decisions about yourself, your organization, your family, your future. Develop all the skills necessary to make your fortune. And by the way, speaking of fortune, jot this down. One of the early goals you should set since you're involved in some, a program that can help you get there. The goal to become financially independent as quickly as possible. Financial independent means the ability someday to live from the income of your invested resources. I want you to get there as quickly as possible. Someday you could, if you wanted to, live from the income of your invested resources so that now you can work for joy and not for necessity. When Mark had been in business about two and a half years, he had plenty of money and he could have quit. Then why did he invest all those years from the time he made enough to retire he kept on going until finally he died age 44. Why would he continue to do that? Here's why. He became financially independent so that he could then work for joy and not for necessity. I had that hop happy opportunity when I met Mark because I didn't need the money, but I did need the joy. I did need the challenge. And that's what's been exciting for me to work here, not for the money, but for the joy. Next, consistency, day in, day out, Mark taught. Integrity, to maintain the company's reputation for the future so that those we recruit today will have a, a future for tomorrow and ongoing. Maintain Herbalife's integrity and your own integrity to do the right thing. The next word I want to leave with you is courage. Sometimes when it all seems wrong, you just have to stay in there and have courage to stay. Courage in public. Here's some of the most important courage. Courage in private. When you've got nobody to talk to but yourself, have courage to tell yourself the truth. Here's where I really am. Here's what I'm really doing. Here's what's really going on. That kind of courage will change your life. Here's the next one, courage to change. If you've gotten some information here already today to make some changes in your program, changes in your thought, changes in your philosophy, how to do the business, make those changes. Here's the next one, courage to be silent. When it's so easy to talk. Here's the big one, courage to forgive. If somebody you've been working with and there seems to be a little tension, things aren't going well, somebody asks you to forgive, do that. Next, the courage to risk, like the farmer does every year, planting in the spring. Risk your emotions and your time and your heart. And to finish, Learn the lesson of the seasons. Do the work of summer. Here's what summer's for, to nourish your values like a mother, give them life, to protect them like a father. Do the work of summer, staying the whole season. Staying till it turns, staying till it happens. As you would protect a newborn baby as a father and nourish it like a mother, so treat your organization. Next, in the harvest, when it comes, 
There's two things in life that are so important. Number one, the full development of all your potential. Here's the next one, the wise use of all your resources. All those years ago, I started teaching 70, 10, 10, and 10. Don't spend more than 70% of what you earn. Then 10 cents for charity, 10 cents for active capital, which is Herbalife, 10 cents for investment capital. 70, 10, 10, and 10. Some have used that, Sarah used it, others have used it over the last 10 years to become millionaires. I was taught which works. If you wanna be financially independent someday, it's called one, two homes and one car. The average American gets two cars and one home. Here's a good advice, two homes and one car. You buy the second car after you've bought the second home, wise use of your resources. So do the work of summer. It's not easy, but get it done. Do wise things with your harvest. And here's the last season to finish. When the winter comes, hopefully you'll be prepared from what you've done before the winter arrives. But the winter of surprise, the winter of death, the winter of illness, the winter of difficulties, Make this note, just hang on. You know, the winter cannot last forever. There's never been a double winter. Some are difficult and some are easier. There's never been a double night. The night only lasts for a few hours and then the day finally dawns and the shadows flee away. All right, we're gonna stop it right there. Let me stop sharing skirt. Okay, bet. Um, what up, what up, what up, what up, what up, Jerry Cooper? Um, current global expansion team member, as you guys know, been in the business um, almost eight years, been an amazing ride, super fired up for, you know, all the things that's going to happen inside the business and all the people that we're going to uh, help and affect and, you know, all the lives to be changed, right? So, um, cool thing about Herbalife is, right, is that when you be in for a while, you see a lot of people around the, uh, the community, right? So, I've been down to LA a few times for different Herbalife trips, right? And I remember my first time going to, I believe, Redondo Beach, right? For the workout, huge workout, like 150 people, 250 people right out there, right? And, you know, there's people out there, you know, doing their thing and there's hella people that I don't know, right? And then I remember I'm seeing this individual and I'm like, like, I know this individual from somewhere very specific, right? Very specific. So... If you guys, you know, grew up in the 90s, right, you may have seen the famous movie um, Love and Basketball, right? So she was an actress in the movie, right? I'm not going to give it away. If you haven't seen it, shame on you. Go watch it, Love and Basketball. You can probably stream it on any platform, right? But um, I'm like, yo, she does Herbalife. And ultimately, right, she does Herbalife and actually has made it to the tab team, a uh, global expansion team member. So um, she's been in the business eight years. Like I said, an actress, humanitarian um, from LA. Um, obviously, she knows what she's doing. She's built a, a huge team, um, you know, impacting a lot of people doing her thing. So I want to go ahead and introduce our guest speaker for the night, for the beginning of the month, Do It, Do it 24 crew call, Erica Ringor. So if you want to go ahead and snap it up, clap it up, whatever you're doing, I know everybody's on mute, right? So, um, but she's going to go ahead and rip the call, do her thing. So if you got questions, go ahead and write them down as she's going. Um, get your notebooks out because it's about to get real. So um, let me go ahead and pass it over. And uh, Erica, please come on and, uh, you know, go ahead and do your thing, please. Hey, hey, thank you, thank you, thank you. What's up, you guys? Can, can y'all smile? What, are y'all re ready or no? Well, listen, if you are not naked or at work, turn your camera on. I don't care about your hair. I don't care about none of that. I'm about face energy, but if you can't, no problem. Um, I apologize for being a little bit late. For some reason, I'm not even signed in. I'm signed in under my sponsor, Zoom. That's why it says VP, which means Black Prez, Brian Holyfield is my sponsor. So everything is no problem. I could not get this thing to sign in. I was trying to sign in like six minutes ago. So anyway, um, I appreciate you guys uh, ask or honor. I'm honored to do the call. Thank you, Jerry, for asking me. Um, so just to give you, I'm gonna give you a little bit about myself and then I'm gonna get into it. Um, but this is my intention for this call, you guys, listen, is 
for you to walk away, not just inspired, but inspired to actually do something. Okay, we can be all inspired and you know how we, when we leave events, we're like, oh, oh, and then we get home and we sit down and turn the TV on. How do I know? Because that's what I used to do. Okay, so be inspired to take action because that's the only way that your business is going to grow. And I'll get into that um, a little bit later, but I'm gonna, I, I wanna talk to you guys, but then I really want y'all to ask me questions. I, I like interaction because that's really how the information you're getting can be effective. I can, we can talk all day, but I want to hear what you're thinking. I want to know if you have thoughts or if you're confused. So just give me a hundred percent. I'm about to give y'all a hundred percent. Had to turn my air conditioner on to cool my house down because I'm about to be sweating. Because when I do calls, it just comes from the spirit. And when it comes that way, you just start sweating. I don't know. When y'all start training, you'll, you'll get it. So uh, my name is Erica Ringor. Thank you, Jerry, for saying my last name correct. Ugh, it's Ringor. Thank you. Uh, out of Los Angeles. I've been in Herbalife since... March of 2012, okay? Um, that's nine years. Wait a minute, what was that, eight years? Am I eight and a half, eight and a half? Is that nine years? Damn, oh my God. That just, that just I'm not, that's nine years. That's not eight years anymore. Wow, okay. Let me take this left earring out because it's already getting on my nerves, hitting my little AirPods. So nine years in the business. Um, I am, I'm an actress, I'm still an actress. Um, and how do I make this short? My, I originally came into Herbalife as a client. I was coming off back surgery. Uh, I'm an athlete. I was working out six days a week. I've always been an athlete, um, even before Herbalife. I was kind of doing Herbalife before I was doing Herbalife. It's interesting how everything just connects. So when I was introduced to the products, I had just had surgery, wasn't able to work out. Um, I had put on like, I literally was working out six days a week to nothing. I was, I was crawling to the bathroom. I had a herniated disc. So if anyone has ever hurt their lower back, it's not a game. I had to have the surgery or modify my life is what my doctor said, which meant I couldn't play basketball. I couldn't run. And if you saw the look I gave him, I literally said, let's go ahead and make the appointment. Like we don't have to talk about modification. Let's make the appointment so I can get the surgery so I can get back to my life. So was introduced to the products after I put on a lot of emotional eating, just wasn't able to do anything. And if you're an athlete, just going from all this activity to nothing could do something to you emotionally. So I was eating chocolate chip ice cream, cupcakes, ordering large pizzas, eating them all by myself. And when your mama asks you, have you gained weight? It is too late. You have already gained the weight. And when my mom asked me that, she was like, did you put on a look? I was like, oh, Lord. Okay. Well, so Brian came into my life, started on my plan, and I still wasn't able to work out when I started on my plan. The first 10 days, I lost eight pounds, literally just changed my diet. Like I just cut everything out cold turkey. I made a decision to do it. So fast forward. Um, that was what, nine years ago. I just turned 46 in December. Don't tell nobody. I'm about to start my basketball league My with young 20 year old women. Like I still compete. I'm competitive. I don't feel 46. The way my skin and my nutrition is set up. I don't feel like I look it either. Look y'all, it's about longevity, right? And energy. So that's my story with the products. Products work. These products will forever be on my counter, whether I do this business or not. Herbalife has changed my life in so many ways, right? Um, so I gave you all my intention. So I want to, so I want you to take some notes because I'm going to go quick. But I, at the end, I want, like I said, if you have any questions, like just, just give it to me. Okay, we cool. Everybody give me some, give me some fingers, some face energy. Okay, there. Yes, yes. Okay, there we go. Thank you. Okay. Come on, Steph, with the nails. Yes, nails. Um, anyway, all right, you guys. So I'm going to start the call off. Um, and I did talk to Jerry, and I was like, what's the team need? That's the first thing. Um, and at the end of the day, like, we all need the same. It's like we all need the same thing, but we're at different levels. But it's the same thing. So I'm going to start with personal development. This is what I literally, probably the last two years, I've really been on my team as far as personal development. I've been on their heads about it. And I have a few of my team members on here, Renee, Tim, like on the head about personal development. You guys, this is a people business. And if you are, if your attitude is not together, you're not going to be successful. It's that simple. If your attitude is not together, you're not going to be successful in this business. You won't, you, you won't be successful in any business, but with Herbalife, you know, it's, it's a people business. This is about energy. It's about helping people. So you got to get yourself right. So when I'm, I want to ask you guys, first of all, just with a show of hands, 
just because I, I see everybody. I like to see everybody. Two fingers, if you do personal development every single day, just hold them up. Don't put it down. Let me see your fingers every single day. And it's no problem if you don't. This is, you just get to know where you're at. Okay, cool. Some people have their fingers up. Some people don't. So here's your first assignment. Every single day, it is not an option. Personal development every single day. We know what that looks like. Jim Rohn is a beast who y'all were just listening to. Jim Rohn is ev like Jim Rohn is at least six days a week from week. I mean, I listen to several, but Jim Rohn is like literally how I start my morning. I don't know. It's his voice. It's his philosophy. It's his demeanor. Every single day, personal development, even on Sunday, you guys, it doesn't stop. We all eat on Sunday, right? Y'all drink and drink water and stuff, right? We eat on Sunday. We breathe. It's not an option. Okay. Personal development. So <laughs> I don't want you to just listen to it. I want you to actually act on it. We can listen all day, but are you practicing what you're listening to? These are all self-check questions. I want y'all to, it's like, I'm gonna be 100. I might cuss a little bit. I told my mama to sign on to the call because I was trying to get my mama to be a distributor. Mom, I apologize if I curse. Um, and so are you actually practicing what you're listening to? So. Another question, specifically where you're at right now, and it, it, it's self-reflection, do you think you know what you need to work on? You think you know what you need to work on? Give me two fingers, hold them up. If you are clear of the, the, the stuff you need to work on, okay. The question is, are you, are you actually working on it? Is that what your personal development is geared, is that what you're targeting? Like, I tell my squad, like, if you have a bad attitude, if you're insecure, or if, or if you, you know, you're scared to talk to whatever it is, personally, you have to intentionally go get that, if that makes sense. So sometimes I, I can't really, like, there's some things, like, I just can't figure out. And I tell my squad, like, I don't, I don't try to figure things out. Like, we already know what to do. It's just, I'm trying to figure out what my next step is to move forward to whatever it is. So, you know, I needed to work on my leadership. That was specifically the last couple of years being a global expansion team. For me to get to the millionaire team, I had to step into different shoes. So for me, it was about leadership. So right now, my entire squad, we are reading the five levels of leadership by John C. Maxwell. Game changer, write it down. John C. Maxwell, five levels of leadership. It's gonna smack you all in your face because it's gonna tell you exactly where you are as a leader. And here's the thing. It's so awesome to know where you're at. It's, it's so awesome to know where you are. Because now it's like, okay, cool. I know where I need, I know my next step. So I'm working on leadership. So it's not just reading the book. Like I have homework. I have to actually ask myself questions. It's, it's self-reflection, all these things. Okay. So focus, find what you need to focus on as far as what you need to work on. So I, I say this, I'm like, I work on my weaknesses, but I focus on my strengths. I don't try to make my weaknesses all that because that's not really my lane, but I need to be able to like, you know, drive in that lane. I might be like swerving, but I'm a, I can stay in the lane, but over here in this lane where my strengths are, this is what I focus on because this is where I thrive, right? Yes, elevate your strengths. Some people are like, oh, I need to get my weaknesses up. No. No, no. I mean, you do, but focus on what you're good at. Find your lane and then go in that lane because that's how you, that's how you move forward. Okay. So personal development every day. Are you, are you listening to what you need to listen to? Are you targeting which, what you need to listen to? Is it specific to your needs? Right. All right. So I'm going to ask a real question. Let's see, see what y'all say. If you think you're coachable, Put up two fingers. I'm looking. Okay. All right, everybody got their fingers up. Well, one person don't have his fingers up. I don't know. Maybe he doesn't think. Okay, okay. I mean, and look, you know what? I'm so glad. I'm so glad you did that because you have to keep it. My point is you got to keep it real. I'm going to tell you, I was a little hard-headed when I first started. 
Brian, it took me a year to come go down to the motor club in Culver City. Literally, I gave him every excuse of why I couldn't make an HOM. And this is when it was lit. Like we had a hundred people at HOMs at Motor. This is when Garen and Style and Laura Holloway and Heather Schwartz and Mark and Jill Addy, like I think Style was a global expansion team. He had just hit get the night, the first night that I went to HOM. That's that was my first experience there. And it was cracking. And I was like, whoa, I was like, what is this? I was like, all these people in shape. I mean, I, I got like, I understood it, but I was like, well, damn. Like, I was like, excuse me, like trying to get to the bar. Like Brian was trying to take me to get like, so. <laughs> Give me a minute to be cold. I remember it was supervisor school every Saturday morning at eight o'clock. And Brian used to call me at like 8.15 and I'm still in bed. And he's like, why are you not on the call? I was like, I don't know, like I'm asleep. I promise you. And it wasn't bad. And that's the one thing I love about Brian and I will always be grateful is that he never made me feel bad for where I was at. Like he just loved on me anyway. And he kept following up with me until eventually I got down there and then signed up and did all this and fast forward. So are you coachable? And let me tell you what that looks, what that looks like to me because we all have our idea of coachable. What it looks like to me is, are you open to anything? Even if it doesn't make sense, are you open to it? Not, oh, not conditional open, unconditionally open. Big difference. Number two, do you listen? Oh, I didn't listen. Oh, I didn't listen. Oh. Mm. I didn't listen. Number three. <laughs> Can you take constructive criticism without being offended or feeling some type of way? AKA in your feelings. Get out your feelings. Because this business at this point has nothing to do with you understand that and if this is touching you in some way and you're like Ugh, that means I'm talking to you if you feel in some type of way of what I'm saying that's the stuff you got to work on and that's okay everything is okay make it okay I'm not trying to beat you up I'm not trying to make you feel bad I just want to touch them things so you go oh wait should that hurt wait I need to work on that and then number four do you show up this is what showing up means. Sitting upright on your team call with your camera on. You can't always take notes sometimes you're driving, but you really like on your call, you turn and go walk around your house. How do I know? Because I used to do that sometimes. Not all the time, but sometimes, like, yeah. But then I was like, I can't get to, I can't get to president's team with my camera, my phone face down and me in the kitchen, not listening. That's not how I get to president's team. Even if it's a team, your weekly team call, even if I've heard it all before, because I'm at this point, I'm like, it's not about me. I, I have to, I literally repeat that to myself. It's not about me. When I, when I go, I don't feel like running my team call. I don't feel like doing this. I don't feel like calling my client. I'm like, man, Erica, it's not about you. And then I just check myself and then I do what I need to do, even though I don't really want to. So are you open? Do you listen? Can you take constructive criticism without feeling some type of way? And do you show up? You know if you do or not. There's no reason to lie to you, me, or your coach, or anybody. Because it doesn't affect anybody but you. I promise you that. And I'm going to tell you this. However your business looks right now, right now is 725, 1025, wherever you're at, However your business looks right now is 100% because of your choices, good or bad. Write it down. It is 100% because of your cho choices and what you decided to do. Nobody else, not your sponsor, mama, not your daddy, not your cousin, not your boyfriend, your girlfriend, your kids, your dog. It is on you. Some of y'all don't like to hear that. I already know it. I could feel the energy. Somebody, somebody didn't like that. Look, it's 100% you. And until you take that ownership, because that's what ownership is, I promise you, 
nothing seems like a big deal. When you take ownership, it's not a big deal anymore. You just got to fix the shit. It's that simple. I've never like, and I, maybe it's from my mom. I've never blamed anybody. I've always said, you know what? My bad. Let me, let me fix that. It's integrity y'all this bit. And, and the reason I'm touching on this first, cause your, your business, your business will be trash. If you don't get this together, this is your foundation. And I don't know of the people on here. I'm assuming maybe 25 to 35 ish, maybe, maybe a little younger, 20 to 35. I'm assuming is on here. But it's like, we're, you at an age right now and you're in a business, you're in a $9 billion company where you, we ain't got time for your excuses in the lie, the get your shit together, get it together. If you need a few days to get it together, take your days and go do that. And then come back here and do what you need to do. And I'm telling you, cause this is my experience of nine years in Herbalife. I watched, Garen and I came into the business six months apart and I don't compare my journey to anybody. I'm so happy for my people. Garen about to hit 40K press. Get out of here. You think he got that by just making a bunch of excuses? He, he had a whole learning curve. We all know about Garen's curve, but like, at the end of the day, he had to take responsibility for all his shit, all of it. So the question is, if you don't like where you are right now, are you willing to change you to change it? Hear what I said. Are you willing to change you to change it? Not nobody else. Don't blame anybody else. What are you going to do? Real talk. If, if it's, if you're on zero right now, no problem. How are you gonna get that volume up? How are you gonna hit your full royalties? My goal this month and, and kind of with some of my team members and I'm actually on the team, my team call tomorrow, I'm gonna talk about this. The goal is a hundred volume points a day. I don't know how you're gonna get it. We know how to get it though. We have a structure, my team, there's a whole structure that if you follow it, it works. But then we got some people that don't like to stay. They, they, you know, they get to play over. They like to play over there in other other sandbox. I'm like, yo, over here. This is where all the, this is where it's at. Right here, we got the structure already in place. Why are you over there? Come back over here with the team, y'all. There's so many footprints that have been left for us, and I can't stress. Like being like me focusing on my leadership structure has been what's drilled in my head for the last five months. Structure, structure, structure. Does your team have a structure? Does your team follow the structure? I have a team. I mean, we have a structure. Does my team follow it? I would say 80, 85% of us do. We just need to do more. But I've, I've made that like where I have a couple of team members like, oh, I want to go over here. And I'm like, nah, show your ass back over here. Come over here. I'm not telling you you can't be yourself, but we we all on the same freeway. Just stay here, pick a lane, and then we're, but we're here. We're all we're still here. Be who you are, but follow the structure, y'all. It works. You don't need to fix nothing. It's not broke. Enhance it if you want to. Add to it. Add val Add more value to it, or do it more. But there's nothing. There's nothing to change. Herbalife has been the same since 1984. Use where talk, show up, add value to the marketplace. Do your personal development. I promise you those, those are, that's literally, that's just Herbalife right there. Exactly what I just said. So is this landing? Okay, cool. Um, I'm going to tell you guys briefly, and then I'm going to open it up. I want to talk to you about social media, but I want that to be specific because I know you, some of you guys saw me on the STS um, social media, uh, the social media section from our last STS. So if you have questions from that or just in general, I'm going to, we'll talk about it at the end. Um, but I'm, gonna, I'm just going to give you guys like kind of how I run my business, but on just daily, like what I do. Um, because for me, I've had to learn how to balance. Um, I'm auditioning a lot now 
and everything is self taped So I'm not just driving to the audition and just walking in and walking out. Like I gotta, it's a whole setup. I gotta go to someone else's house. I have to have someone film me. I have to have a reader with me. So me balancing, like literally I was on Saturday, I was on a table read for a film that I'm doing and I'm literally sending my link to a client who's, she ordered like a $300 plan, a girl I've been following up with for three years. She ordered for the first time Saturday and just hit me up while, while I was on the call. I mean, table read. So I'm like trying to, you know, pretend like I'm paying attention, but I'm, I'm like, hey, go to my website, create an account, drop these products. Literally, I'm like, drop these products. This is what you're starting on. What's your goal? Boom. Don't order until I tell you to submit. Sh screenshot it. Sh we were having this whole conversation. I said, boom, submit it. New client. And I'm on my table read. Balance. <laughs> That took me nine years, y'all. Listen, that was nine years. So who has a DMO? Daily method. We all know what that is. Who has, who has a DMO or I just call it a routine. I'm talking about every single day, routine. Two fingers. Anybody? Everybody has a routine. Okay. If you don't have a routine, please get a routine. Because if you don't, you're gonna, your day is going to take, you're going to lose your whole day. And everything I'm telling you is from experience. So my DMO is like my 90 day plan. Like it's, it's like my DMO is like, you know, you wake up, I work out, shake, all these things. That's, that's your personal DMO, my personal development. Like I literally do the same thing when I get up, brush my teeth. I come make my little ginger tea. I turn Jim Rona on my TV. I'm sitting over there with my journal and I'm burning my sage. That's literally my routine. Depending on how much time I have, I'm doing that for an hour, hour and a half. And it's just Erica time. I'm not, I might post on social media like some positive stuff, but it's me. I'm not on the phone. Steph be trying to call me. I'm like, Steph, look, I'm doing personal development. Yes, I ignore her calls. Sometimes you have to ignore your friend's calls and Steph will keep calling me. And then I just keep declining it because this is Erica time. You have to find your time. <laughs> it's your foundation. It is a non-negotiable. You guys, I'm about alignment. It's tatted on my chest, other side. Alignment right there, boom. That's, it's the foundation. Everything has to be in alignment. And if you don't know what that word means, look it up. It's just, it's a feeling, it's balance. It's no stress. It's I know what my next step is. It's no problem. That's what alignment feels like. So if I don't feel like that, harmony. Yes, Candace actually, my one of my coaches in Ohio, like I was using the word balance and harmony is the word that she introduced to me. It's a harmony. My herbal life career, my, my personal life, all that it's a harmony. It has to, it has to all flow. But I'm risk for that flow. Nobody else is. And I know those days where I don't do my personal development, it's a different day. Like, I'm like, damn, oh, I'm irritated. Y'all ever had them days where you just, you're irritated. Day before yesterday, I was, I was irritated. Didn't really know why. I didn't try to figure it out. I just had to, like, if you listen to Abraham Hicks, it's like, you get pushed out the plane, what are you going to do? Just fall. You'll hit the ground eventually and then just get back up. That's literally what I had to do couple days ago I didn't know what was wrong I just decided to watch tv and not talk to anybody and now look I'm back <laughs> I'm good and like get yourself together that's okay just don't stay away too long so get you a routine what is your routine if you don't have one get one um Jerry was, he, he was saying me, telling me to touch on um, like how I get clients. And it's really, for me, my lane is working out. Like I used to run fit clubs, like at the, at the beach when we had 300 people, I was, I love doing the, the shuttle, the shuttle station, like working out. Cause I was a personal trainer. Like that's my lane at people. That's what inspires me. Cause that's, that's what I do. That's what inspires me. You have to do what inspires you to be able to inspire other people. I didn't, I didn't do facial parties. I don't mind them, but that's not my lane. That doesn't excite me. What excites me is 
come to the come to Laurel uh, Runyon Canyon with me and let's run this hill. If you guys saw my story this morning, I was in total alignment. It was, the sun was out. I was hiking with my friend. We worked out like total alignment. So find what what feels good to you. Find what motivates you. And literally, as far as getting clients, y'all, it's it's just I use a lot of social media just because you know I'm not we're not out face to face yet. Like we can't really do that stuff. So a lot of it is social media. And at this point, you know. We just got to, we have to figure it out. So um, another way I get, a, a major way that I get clients even now are our 21 day challenges. We just, we just started another one today. I've had like five of my clients win first place. And literally I'll be talking mess because I'm, <laughs> it's, it's, it's a friendly competition, but like I want my clients to win. So that's a major way how I keep my clients, um, you know, in the funnel structure. 21 day challenge is a, is a huge structure. If you don't use it, I don't care if you don't like it. Drop all your clients in there and watch what happens. I've gotten three distributors out of a 21 day challenge. And one of them's on the call right now. All in. With results, bomb ass results. Just got her NASA nutrition certificate. She wasn't doing that when I met her. I just dropped her in, in a little and she just was in the structure. She was in there with everybody else. So um, I want to I want to do q and A. I I want to do some questions. Um, I can touch on social media, but if you have any questions, I don't know how you do it, Jerry, if you make them raise their hand or if you just take yourself off mute, however you want to do it. Yeah. So if you if you guys have a question, um, type a one in the chat if you have a question and that way Erica can see and she can just call on people after the fact. Um, <laughs> But I'm going to go ahead and start off, right? And so when you say about structure, right, like, mm -hmm. I know that's very important. So like, what are some of the, like, okay, when you say, first of all, let me do this like this, structure, okay, it's like, what is that? You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of people might be like, okay, you know, like, what is okay. structure per se? Okay, so structure are your team calls that you have every week. That's part, okay, so. Here's our structure. We have a call, an HOM call Wednesday. Oh, wow. Well, I'm sorry. HOM call Wednesday, our team call. So my, I'm sorry, my team call Tuesday, then my organization and a couple of other organizations who are all under Brian, we do a, like a mega team call on Sunday. That's, we just all came together. So it's my personal team Tuesday, Wednesday, HOM call for everybody. Sunday, the everybody call. Um, 21 day challenges is part of our structure. How I bring people into the business or how we bring clients into the business is part of our structure. They sign up as a preferred member first. They get results. They share their results, photo, social media. The goal is to bring them in as a distributor with clients on deck. So they make money right away. That's structure, following the structure, not saying, oh, I want that, that, he wanted to be a distributor, so I just signed him up. Well, did he order? Oh, no, not yet. So you just have a distributor that has an order. You didn't follow the structure. Structure is, and I, I don't sign, if someone says I want to do the business first, I definitely don't sign them up as a distributor first. They come in as a preferred member. So right off bat, they get, the, they get their discount because I really want them to get as many products as they, as they can, because I want them to get a result. Because, and we go for a two week flow, a two week photo. This is my structure. Prefer member, two week progress photo. And I'm going, I'm, the, that first two weeks, I'm coaching them. I call it the client experience. I'm coaching them to show them how they're gonna coach their client when their client comes in. So it's called the client experience. Okay, cool. I'm gonna treat you how you're supposed to treat your client. So I coach the hell out of them the first two weeks. They get a ridiculous result. Boom, they post it on Instagram. Erica, I have like five people wanting some product. Perfect. Let's sign you up as a distributor right now. And then I'm going to show, tell, try, do. I'm going to show them how to bring them in. I'm a co-coach. That's part of your job as a distributor. You don't say, okay, cool, sign up and then go get them. That's, and that's a whole other conversation. 
that's like, that's a whole other call. But you, it's kind of like holding their hand. I hold my hands, my, my distributor's hands for a while. And, you know, it's like, oh, no, come over here. Wait, this is what we're doing. And then I, you know, there, it's a judgment call of when I let go. But you have, I, I have to co-coach. So when they come in as a distributor, you want your distributor when they come in to make money. That's, that's why they're coming in. We, some people are scared to say it. No, you want your distributor to make some money, whether it's $30, $50, whatever. It gives them belief that, that it actually works. Even if it's $20, they're like, oh shit, I just made $20? Yes, that was really easy. Yes, now go do that 20 more times. It's not just about the money, it's the belief, which that's a whole other call too. <laughs> but plugging them in the structure gives them belief that it actually works. But if you out there creating your own structure, like, don't do that. Just come over here. Jerry, does your team have a structure? So as you said about 21 day calls, team calls, HOMs, yeah, we have that in play. But I think mm -hmm. the biggest thing about, I think our biggest um, opportunity that we have to overcome is how we're bringing people in, in the sense of, okay, this is the steps X, Y, Z. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, so that's why I asked that. Yeah. Okay. So you guys, you just got to trust that it works. That's it. You, you really, um, you have to, you have to trust that it works. Allow the structure to hold for all the new people. Like, you know what I mean? Like you just got to trust it. Like it works. And, and when you plug your team into the structure, it takes a lot of pressure off of you. It's like, you know, when you have a client and you drop your client in the, the if you're doing a 21 day challenge and I drop a client in a thread, all the other clients, they take care of each other. I don't got to do nothing. They, and they're talking to each other. They texting each other and, they, and, then, and then my client has ordered a Prolesa Duo and an Aloe. And I'm like, what, what did you do that? What happened? They're like, oh yeah, well, Renee told me that she's on it. So I just went and got it. Perfect. That's the structure. The structure works. Trust it. It may not work on your time. It may not look, it, but you, you just, it's a process, you guys. It's, it's in the meantime, you just, okay, cool. I did what I had to do. I did what I was supposed to do. Okay, I'm gonna leave that there. It, it's gonna work because it's, it, it always works. It's just, it just takes time. And I'm not saying every single client that you bring is gonna stay. We all know that's not the case. But all my coaches who have come in, listen, I got people that have been riding with me for nine years. 15, at least, I have at least 10 people who have been riding with me for six plus years, some longer, but the minimum six years, 13, 10 people, coaches ride with me, period. It's, they stay. But you know why they stayed? Because I stayed. I still show up. My Brian is Brian Brian Holyfield does not have to show up to team calls. Brian Brian's bank account is good. But if he don't show up, somebody else, like, you know what I mean? So it's not about me. It's not about you. So I know y'all have a structure. I know your business, by the way. I know y'all business. I know all y'all business. There's a structure. You just got to use it. You just got to trust it. It's, it really is that simple. <laughs> it's not, it's a simple business. We are the ones that just are all over the place. That's why I go back to personal development. Go get yourself, get it, go get it, please. And come back over here with the team. Y'all can smile and laugh because I'm like I'm laughing. No, nah, yeah, that's <laughs> no, you're saying really good point. I see everybody like yeah, I'm looking at everybody's face. Yeah, like, definitely for sure. Um, so I, I like the point that you really said about how you were at your your event trying to 
in the filming or whatever and you're texting people like I think that's a really big point because um you know people are like like you say there's people on this call from age 20 to 35 and you know there's some a little bit older than that um so at that point there's all kind of different stages of life people got kids going to work going to school got other you know things that they're doing just like you got films right but I think it's very important that you say that you're still handling your business texting people you know doing social media whatever the case is um because you like you say balance like you know what I mean like I think a lot of people might get overwhelmed and say okay let me just go all in over here and just neglect this and it's kind of like you can never up level this by neglecting you know what I mean like yep. you got to give it some kind of effort so I, I think that's really important for you to say that um because you know it's always different when you, you know the auntie syndrome the uncle syndrome the yeah. uncle syndrome, yeah the, and you know what's crazy is that someone told me this that being overwhelmed is a choice. And when, of course I thought about it, I was like, oh, being overwhelmed is a choice, you guys. You don't have to be overwhelmed. You just take some stuff off your plate. I take everything in steps. I've, I've been a substitute teacher for LAUSD. And this is what I was doing, like I was doing Herbalife. I was a substitute teacher because it was flexible and it paid really well. And I, and I was out by 2.30 and if I had auditions, I could just, you know, I could work it out. But like, I, I teach in steps because everything is just steps. It's little steps. It's literally what it is. But we be trying to jump and skip steps and it's like, no, you're gonna trip and fall. So just take the step, trust it. It is really just you trusting yourself and trusting the process. And I think we get real hype. And when we see, I, I think a lot of it is that we compare ourselves to what other people are doing. And some people move really fast in the business. Listen, I grew up with everybody right now, this 20K, 30K. I grew up with all these people in the business and I'm a global expansion team and I'm okay. I'm okay with that. Like it's my journey. I'll get to press team. There's no doubt in my mind, I'll be a president's team. So how do I get to press team? I need to change what I'm doing. Me though, it's all me. I got to change some stuff. So um, I, I'm hearing, is that, is that the little chat? Oh, wow. It's 50 messages in there. Damn, I didn't see all this. Okay. So if anybody has a question, um, just take yourself off me. Right. So go ahead. Somebody come up and ask a question. Okay. If you have one. If you have one, it's no pressure. I actually have another question about social media because okay. um, you know, I think I think a major thing that people are doing these days, especially right now, that's hot is like, you know, nutrition clubs, right? So mm -hmm. I think that for I know a lot of people's aspirations and dreams and goals is to be doing Herbalife may not necessarily be Prez team but to make enough money to be like ah, if I want to stop doing this over here I can right so mm -hmm. what I'm saying is a lot of people are doing nutrition clubs or you're or a lot of people are doing like social media of course with talking to people and presenting opportunity right like that always at work in between like so what are the things, obviously your social media is popping and then, you know, you're doing your thing on there and you trained on it um, at STS. So for the people that may have not seen STS or if you have, you know, the opportunity to go a little bit deeper, like mm -hmm. what are, what would be the beginning steps that you would say of, okay, like I know my social media is not popping. I want to get clients in there. I want to do the things that Got it. I see the other Herbalife-ers do. Like, how can I get that going? Okay, so that's a great question. Okay, so first thing is you need to do you. I don't try to be Steph. I don't try to be Renee. I don't try to be anybody else. You have to be authentically you on your social media for that to work too. Everything is, everything comes back to you. You, you want to be relatable and relatable just means just be you. Like be okay with you. Like I, I, someone told me recently that I need to be more vulnerable on my social media. And I really thought I was being vulnerable. And then Steph was like, nah, you're not. <laughs> I was like, really? I was like, okay. 
And then I had to think about what it meant. Again, I do a lot of self-reflection, y'all. Like once you just, you get it within yourself, it doesn't matter what anybody else says to me, but I got it. And I was like, okay. So I had to like, like that's why I started posting with my bonnet on. (laughs) (laughs) I used to go take the bonnet off and put my hair up. And I'm like, nah, leave your damn bonnet on. This is what I look like right now. It don't matter. Like literally that was me being more vulnerable is posting with my bonnet on and you should see how many messages I get about my damn bonnet they're like oh my god that's such a cute bonnet it's a bonnet y'all but it's relatable who wears a bonnet on here if you wear a bonnet give me two fingers exactly (laughs) okay now two fingers who would post with their bonnet on like on your story would you post on social media with your bonnet on oh okay good okay you got your boy put your hand down (laughs) he just put his hand up um Sharif (laughs) <laughs> oh, or do rag well do rag y'all y'all know what a bonnet is right fellas y'all know the bonnet not the do rag it's a okay a bonnet when we'll, I we'll screenshot it and send it to y'all huh i used to wear a bonnet when i had locks i recently just cut my hair <laughs> oh then you oh then you did with it so you understand so my point is that was me being more vulnerable so being relatable that's what that is that's what that means so right now if you're trying to build a social media I'm gonna give you all simple steps. It's really simple. Post yourself making your shake in the morning. It's simple. Like, like this morning I did prepare BCAAs and aloe before I went to the canyon. All I did was, I didn't feel like doing it. I promise you I didn't feel like doing it. And let me tell you who I thought of. I thought of Steph Rosen. I was like, Steph would put all these little dumb things on it and music. I was like, let me just do it. Literally, that's what I thought this morning. I wasn't gonna do it, but I said, no, Erica, this is your business. Like, you want clients, people have to see what you do. So I did it anyway, and it was real quick. And then I put, okay, so here's what you do. I posted my energy. And then the next step, y'all, this is, this is how I got Renee. Who does polls on here? Polls on Instagram. Okay, if you don't, write down poll. If you don't know where it is, ask somebody where the poll is. So as soon as I posted my energy, I posted a poll and said, Who needs energy? Both my answers are positive. I never go yes, no. It's either yes, hell yes, yes, how do I order? Oh, I need that, let me get that. It's always positive. Y'all, it's it's, it's very strategic and it works. So energy post, poll, who needs energy? When I get off this call, I'm actually gonna check the post and see who voted. I immediately hear what I say, immediately message if I have people on there. I don't look at it and wait and come back because it disappears in 24 hours. And I have forgotten to go back with seven people that were interested and it sucks, don't do that. So immediately I message everybody or, and I, and I do it like I, I'm gonna keep checking throughout the night because it's gonna disappear tomorrow morning. And I message them and this is literally what I say. And this is the part that I got cut off on, on STS. I didn't get a chance to say this because I ran out of time. I was so upset at first I left. And this is what it was, what I say. Thank you for voting on my poll. So depending on the poll, this was an energy poll. So I, I say, thank you for voting on my energy poll. If you're serious about getting product and it just it just depends on like what it is so this was energy and what did I say I was like thank you for voting my energy poll if you're serious or no if you need energy and you're serious and I always use that word because I don't want to waste my time and usually when I do can screw people out if you need energy and you're serious dm me and I will send you details that gives them action steps that they, I put the ball in their court. Now they have to respond to me if they want it. I've done my part. Hey, thanks for voting on my energy poll. If you need energy and you're serious, DM me and I'll send you some details. It's that simple. I copy and paste it. And if I can see their name, I always personalize it. So if it, I go to their Instagram, I'm like, okay, cool. His name is Jerry. Hey, Jerry, thanks for voting on my energy poll. If you're serious, DM me and I'll send you, I'll send you details. It's that simple, copy and paste. If you got 10 people that have voted, copy and paste, and there are your 10 messages for the day. 
and then do the same thing on Facebook. Next step, this is, I'm telling y'all, this is literally what I do. This is why Renee is on the call. I'm gonna keep saying that. I literally did this with Renee. She responded. We talk about her goals on Instagram. Cool, they like, oh yes, I'm serious. What I need to do. First thing I do is I have them go to my website and register. That's the first thing I do. I don't tell them anything until they go do that. Because what that does is that locks them into me at least for 30 days. Because let me tell you, Eight years ago, Erica would give you all the information and then they would go order from someone else. And uh -uh. I'm not doing that anymore. No, ma'am. Go register. You are locked in with me for 30 days. They can't go register anywhere else because they have already registered on my account. Once you do that, let me know. Next, that's their next action step. Ball is now still in their court. It's strategic. The ones that want it, they're going to do all that right away. Okay, I did it. Now what? So once they register for the account, and I, because it'll pop up in your email, and you'll see what they're, and like, I'll look and see, like, how much they weigh, how much they want to lose, how old they are. Like, I get all this information before I even talk to them. This is maximum impact, y'all. This is what you do as a distributor. This is what you do for every single person. This is the work. This is the part that people skip because they don't want to do it. I'm telling you, I got 10 people who've been riding with me for eight years. And this is why, because how I brought them in. And it was genuine. And remember how you were brought in. Why are you still here? Did they half-ass it with you? No. So why would you half-ass it with somebody else? So. Send me the goals. Boom, we're talking. Okay, cool. They register. What are your goals? That's the next question. I don't say nothing else. What are your goals? Simple, sweet, to the point. Because now I need to see if I need to screen you out. I got to see if I'm wasting my time. Boom, I want to lose 20 pounds. And oh my God, I got a, I got a family reunion. I got this stomach. Okay, cool. What's your budget? What's your budget? This is all structure. <laughs> They're like, I can spend. So the girl that I was messaging, oh, perfect. Cause this is literally what I did. I'd already did this with her before, but again, she's been messaging me for three years. Yes, what are you willing to invest? That's the word that I use as well, invest. Cause it's an investment, not how much can you spend? How much are you willing to invest in your health? Hit them with that question. Boop, how much are you willing to invest in your health? So she said, my budget is $200. Now, mind you, that's including that sometimes I don't, I, sometimes I include the taxes and shipping. I'm like, oh, okay, you know, tax and shipping like $30. I was like, you know what? I'm gonna send her 200 because I can't control taxes and shipping. So I sent her two shakes, protein, tea, aloe. She got the seven day prolessa and a cellulose. It came to 236. She did exactly what I told her to do. I'm talking about on the spot. This transaction took less than seven minutes. She was doing it as I was telling her to do it. Okay, it's done. That's how I know they're ready. Those are the best clients. So I said, did you drop everything in the cart? She said, yes. I said, screenshot it. Everything I told her to do, she screenshot it and sent it to me. Now, you don't have to do that. I have a different relationship with her, like someone I've been talking to. Some home market. I'm, you know, you can, if you want, it's a judgment call. You have to use your judgment and how you deal with people, which goes back to personal development and your attitude. You got to know how to deal with different people. People are different. You can't talk to everybody the same way, right? So I said, cool, submit it. 30 seconds later, it's done. My next message, when can you chat? Send me your number. I take it off social media and now, Tomorrow, her and I are talking before she gets her stuff. So I can tell her how she's going to use these products and what, how your life's about to change. Because I've been watching her journey and she's been killing herself in the gym and she looks the same. That's why I was like, Kima, let me help you. I was like, oh, and she was like, I'm going to do it one day. I'm going to get saying, I was like, oh. I'm literally watching her kill herself in the gym. And 
watch what I'm about to do. watch what I'm about to do with her in two weeks. I'm about to change her whole shit up that she's been trying to do for three years. Watch. But I did all of that before, before, like this is, this is the buildup. Then the conversation I have with her is going to be even more. It's because it's not about the products. We can get them the products. Our job is to get them to use the products. I can, we can sell products all day. Are they going to use it though? So my, this, that's what this next conversation is. All right, cool. This is what you're getting. This is what your day is going to look like as far as you're eating. This is what your workout's going to look like. I have a, I have a certificate in personal training. I have credibility in that. I can tell her what to do. You, I mean, if you do, if you can tell somebody what you're doing in the gym. That's fine. My lane is working out. And so once I said, and so when we have the conversation, I'm going to say, when you get your package, call me. I FaceTime with my people when they make their first shake, if I can. Maximum impact. Write that down in bold. Maximum impact. Okay, can you imagine FaceTiming your client while they're making their first shake? It's going to be bomb. You ever had a client go, oh, this shake is disgusting. That is not a good look. That's, that's not good. Because you know what? They're going to go tell other people that. And then they're like, oh, I heard Herbalife shakes are nasty. Well, wait a minute. Hold up. No, they're not. You just didn't know how to make it. Ever said to you is my I bring a distributor in. It doesn't matter. The distributor is coming in the same way the client does because I'm teaching them how you're going to teach, show your client when they. Come. But you you have to follow the steps. It's literally it's just repeat, repeat, repeat. And then for me, like it, it's just easy for me now. It's it's my flow. It's not a big deal. Sometimes I don't even have to have all these conversations. I can like they just tr saying. Because I have clients that, that have stayed and I can show you results. And I'm like, look, just do what I tell you to do. That's really how I talk to my clients. Like Renee knows. I'm like, listen, just do what I tell you to do. And you'll be fine. So does that make sense? That, that's literally everything. I, what I say, that's literally what I do. I just want you to try it. Like follow those steps. Just try it. Any other questions or any shares or thoughts or something you heard that sparked something? I, um, I'm sorry. Hi, um, Erica. Um, okay. I have a quick question. Um, I'm Jackie Nakba Ahu, by the way, um, current supervisor. Um, I just want to know how you go about balancing um, both your herbal life um, and your, you know, your acting or, you know, your career, things like that. Because I know a lot of us have like jobs outside of herbal life and so you know i just want mm -hmm. to know how you do it with your herbal it, you life. have to it's 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 time management but you have to, it's time blocking yeah you have to you have to just be disciplined so there's one of my sideline coaches she's a supervisor at walmart like a regional manager she works at least 70 to 80 hours a week her check was 3500 last month her volume almost six thousand. that's consistent she does herbalife maybe two and a half hours a day maybe like it sometimes it's an hour and she's got children and grandchildren so she did my team call last week and and it's 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 a discipline like if you're working full-time or if you have children you just got to figure out a time. So if your kids don't get up until seven, you got to get up at six and do your business or five. Do your personal development, your business, PD. So you, maybe you have to wake up a little earlier. I would say wake up a little earlier, but I know people have children you need to rest. So it's like you have to figure it out. But maybe you get up an hour early and you're following up with clients. Or you're, you know, checking your biz works, whatever it is you do. You know, but I try to get all my social media posts in the morning done before I go to the gym or before I do my workout. It's a timing thing for me. And it's a timing thing for our business because social media is about timing. So you, whatever your, so Jackie, how many, do you work like nine to five? What's your, what are your hours? Well, right now um, I'm off work because I injured my, my shoulders. So I tore my rotator cuff and had to get um, surgery, mm -hmm. but um 
just and I have catering, so I do that um, as well, but I haven't done it in a while. So I'm asking just because even though I'm at home and I'm working kind of from home, I know even with social media, it takes it seems like it takes a lot out of me just to post and I'm finding things that I need to put on there. But it's like, OK, I have to do Instagram. I have to do social media or, you know, Facebook. I'm sorry. And then I'm making these videos. I'm putting things together and it takes time to do that. And by the time I look up, oh, hour, two hours, I'm passing. Mm -hmm. It's even too late. And I prepare my social media stuff. But days go by and it's still sitting there. It's like, oh, shoot, I never posted this because other things either get in the way or I have something else that I have to do that, you know, kind of gets, you know, distracted by it. So I just, I'm trying to find a balance and, but I, it's kind of hard. So, well, so I just heard you say distraction. Yeah. And I guess a lot of that would be. <laughs> uh huh. That's what I'm saying. Okay. Listen, yeah, listen, you have to know where you're at. What's the distraction? Right, right, right. I would say it, it's my phone and a lot of times, okay, well, social media, because I'm trying to do my social media, but then I'll get a notification. Oh, I'm back on Facebook. So I'm back and forth. And if uh -huh. it's not that it's somebody that's calling me. And uh -huh. I know sometimes I have to like shut that down. Like recently, I just had to block a relative of mine just mm -hmm. because it kind of like brought my energy down. So mm -hmm. yeah, it, the move. phone does become a distraction and, and then, you know, sometimes TV too. So. Okay, so listen, the turn. So you have to figure out what's important to you. Do you want to do you want to build your business? Rhetorical. I know you do. Then it's easy for me to push decline when someone's calling me. It's not personal. I'm gonna call them back. And the only person I send an explanation to is my mother. Hey mom, I'm I'm working or I'm doing my personal development, I'll call you later. Like she, she just knows. Other people decline, decline. And most of my friends who call me in the morning, they already know what my morning is, so they don't call. So it, it's you, it's your discipline. It has to be important enough where you, you, have, you can be posting, yeah, or set your phone on do not disturb. That'll that'll do it. Like yeah, my, and I, I do like, that a lot too. And I, I miss like my kids are called like mom, it could have been an emergency. Well, you know, so, okay, but okay, I do, well, then that's fair. Yeah, I do set it to do not disturb, and the only ones that then, are able to get through are my kids. Okay, perfect. That's perfect. So if you're doing a social media post and a Facebook or a text pops up, do you open that text while you're in the middle of doing it? Okay, I'm gonna look at your face. Yep, she does. That's okay, Jackie, listen, don't open the text message. You're doing something. And then what happens is when you, you open that text message, completely forgot what you're doing, and then you don't do it. And what if you were messaging a client? Oh, now the poll disappeared, you don't know who it was. So you have to go, nope, it's a discipline. It comes back to your personal development. So maybe you need to work on distractions. So when you go on YouTube, how do I not get distracted and watch 700,000 videos pop up? Pick one, it is no one specific. Jim Rohn has a great video on time blocking. Put in time blocking, Jim Rohn time blocking. Um, Tony Robbins, time blocking. Um, Brendan Bruchard, write that name down you guys. Brendan Bruchard, B-R-U-C-H-A-R-D. Super dope. Um, I have his book, it's over there, great book. But time blocking, so Jackie, that's specifically right now what you need to work on. That's what I'm saying, like you gotta figure out what it is for you. It used to be time blocking for me. It's like, damn, how do I, how, okay. But I, it's a discipline, it's like, nope, turn your, don't answer that. I'm not checking my email, I'm not, I, don't, I don't check my Instagram until after I do my PD. It's like, I'll go to, I have two pages where one is, is like my writing page, but it's all, everything on there is positivity. So that's where I go get all my quotes and all that. That's the only reason I go on my Instagram. I'm not going to my DMs and my regular account. I'm not doing that because it is, it's a distraction and I know me. And when someone sends me, I'm like, I want to see what they had to say, but I'm like, nope, Boop. stay right here. This is going to take five more minutes. So you have to time block and say, okay, kids are asleep. I'm going to spend the next two hours on my social media. And then that's what I do.
Got it. That's it. Yeah. It's you. You got to work on the discipline. You got to work on the, the distractions. Great question. Thank you. Mm -hmm, you're welcome. Hi, right, Angie. Is that, is that Angie? <laughs> I'm like, is that Angie? Um, all right. Any anybody else? Any other questions? Right. Come on, y'all. Don't be spurred. Right. We got an STS speaker. Or or maybe I've answered. Sometimes I, there are no questions, and I'm okay yeah, with that too. Definitely be like that sometimes too, for sure. Yeah, for real. Can I add something? Is that okay? Sure. Steph, Hi, Steph. Been... Hi. Hello, Steph. Stephanie. My mouth shut. I, I drank a whole energy refresher, so I'm lit, ready to go. So this is what I'm hearing, and I know a lot of you guys personally. So Erica's literally pouring into you guys everything you already know. So shift your perspective and start believing in yourself. Literally, Coop sets you up with somebody who trains at the corporate events. He literally said, if you miss STS, why have you missed STS? So shift your perspective on how this business goes and how it flows. I actually sent Coop three videos that I made um, on how to make different things. So hopefully he'll share that with you guys if it's up to his standards and par. But you guys utilize what your team already has. Like utilize everything that Erica is already saying. You're making it complicated, right? Like how many of you like, like doubted yourself right now? How many of you were like, oh, I don't know if I can. Like, why is the rest of the team not on? Why are your sideline friends not on? Like you literally have somebody who maximizes not only her entertainment career, but her herbal life business and does it both at the same time. Like really start asking these questions and think about it. Like, oh, you guys have gold right now on this call. And I need you guys to understand how much energy is actually going into this and how much she's pouring into you guys. So just shift your perspective. You already know everything. Start believing in yourself. That's the difference. That's the change. All right. I love y'all. That's it. Belief. Yep. That belief. That's a whole other call. That's really what this is. We all know the same information. You just, I believe I can do it. Oh, what's the, what's the, so Jerry on here, what's the longest or the oldest, like who's been in the business the longest or, or I guess the least, is it like, so Steph is old as hell. We know that. Um, <laughs> Probably, as far as that, Steph for sure. Uh, and who's who's the baby? The baby out of this group. Uh huh. Who the baby? Uh, let me look. Let me see. Danae is holding her hand up. Danae, yeah. how long you been in the business? Since October. So what is? Oh, you fresh as <laughs> me. Yeah. Okay. Got it. Got it. Okay. Um, so Danae, is this, is this landing with you? Yes, it is. Um, what you mentioned about time blocking is really what I've been struggling with. Cause I've been trying to do a lot like schoolwork, trying to learn how to trade Forex, stuff like that, or like, and then trying to run my own like cookie business. So I'm trying to figure out how to incorporate everything and have like a successful day instead of like wasting time doing unnecessary stuff. So mm -hmm. that really, I'm gonna watch the videos you mentioned. Okay. Dope. Um, I'm going to give y'all, so I'm going to give you a book for agreements. Some of y'all have probably listened or read it. If you have not, write it down and go listen to it tomorrow. Actually, tonight was late for some of y'all. Tomorrow, the four agreements will change your entire life. I just listened to it again on Tuesday. It's like my eighth time listening to it. It's not something that will ever get old, but every millionaire, billionaire in this country the four agreements is that is part of their life. So, um, and also five levels of leadership. I know you guys got that from John C. Maxwell. It's game changer. If you want to work on your leadership and, but it, it you don't have, it's, we're all leaders y'all. It's just when you decide that you believe you are. Yeah. I'll catch that. We're, we're all leaders. It's just when you decide to believe that you really are a leader and it'll, you'll feel it when you step into those shoes. So all of us trying to move up to this next pin, when I got to my get team pin and I was already double cut active world team and get team. I never was active world team because I'd already stepped into my get team shoes. It literally flew. I'm in, I have one of my millionaire team shoes on right now. I'm trying to go straight to mill 7.5. I ain't gonna lie. That's, that's where I'm trying to go from get to 7.5. And I'm just going to do what I know that what I already need to do. So now I'm working on my belief that I can do it. 
And I, I know I have the belief because I've seen, I've, I know I, I've seen it happen. I've seen people grow up in this business. I see people. So in closing, you have to find why you were in this business and where you're at and then where you're trying to go. All that space in between is the journey. Like that's the fun part. Like where you're at and, and where you're going in between that is where you get to have fun. That's the growth, like in that little nook. Because when you get to where you're going, it's like, all right, so, so what's next? So I want y'all to focus on working on yourself even more. Jim Rohn says it, work harder on yourself than anything. It's, it's simple and y'all know that but I want you to believe it. So that's all I got if y'all don't have any more questions. Man, that was, uh, that was very, very, very good. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and how, how I do this real quick. I don't usually do this, but I'm gonna just go ahead and do it because you know, you just did your thing. I'm trying to unmute everybody. Um, Good, y'all pumped. Good. Yeah. If y'all, if you just come off a of mute and go ahead and give her mute all, scared or unmute all. Let me see. Ask all to unmute. Uh, we're just gonna clap it up. Go ahead and do your shouts, everything like that. Let's give it up for Erica because she just did her thing. Ask to unmute all. Appreciate you. Appreciate. You. Yes. Up, Thank you so up. much. Let's go, Erica. She did her Thank thing. You. For Thank you. Um, Thank you. So the reality of it is, I just want to go ahead and give the due diligence to everybody that had it right. I know Jackie for sure was one who was the, the one who was like, let's get Erica on the call. Let's get Erica on the call along with other people, right? So shout out to Erica allowed me to go ahead and reach out to Steph Rosen, which made the connection. So this was a team thing. It wasn't just all on my end, right? So shout out to everybody for that. Um, Erica, you did your thing. We love it. Um, you came and dropped some nuggets. Um, we really appreciate it. I got page, two pages full of notes. Um, make sure you guys really take take it to heart what she said this call is recorded so i'm gonna go ahead and actually stop recording right here